Back right now, more than 1,000 short term rentals are operating illegally in Kansas City, Missouri. In less than a month, the city will begin registration enforcement on those rentals. Early this month, City Council approved two ordinances. One establishes the registration process, the other gives the Neighborhood Services Department control over enforcement. KSHP 41 News reporter Abby Dodge explains how the process will work. Who lives in the house or apartment next door has been a heated conversation in Kansas City over the last year. Neighbors saying they want more permanent residents and fewer people staying for the weekend in short term rentals. Our whole entire neighborhood has has really felt the devastating impacts of short term rentals, especially with the parties, the littering. Owners of short term rentals opposed recent changes to Kansas City's ordinances, saying it's not good for their small businesses. So it just makes it nearly impossible, really. On June 15th, the changes will take effect. Neighborhood Services Director Forrest Decker is in charge of implementing and enforcing the new ordinances. We're about 90% of the way through most of it. We got to get it across that 10% finish line, but we're but we're ready. The short term rental page on the city's website already lists the documents owners will need to register and data from the city's recent audit. We've got the fact sheet up here. We've got the application process. The newly revamped registration process and enforcement of short term rentals will start on June 15th. The neighborhood services director says he advises people who are currently operating illegally to wait until their application is approved to continue having guests in their home because technically while there will be a grace period, you are still violating the ordinances. We're not going to expect everybody to immediately register on June 15th. I mean, we, but that would overwhelm us if everybody tried to do that. But um, people need to start getting into the process and go ahead and start registering and then we need to start processing through that. The city is also creating codes within the 311 system to better report any issues with rentals. Decker says success to him looks like a low level of complaints and a high level of registrations for this new chapter of hospitality in the city of Fountains. Abby Dodge, KSHB 41 News.